Barbara, Wikipedia article audio. Barbara is a red Italian wine grape variety that, as of 2000, was the third most planted red grape variety in Italy. It produces good yields and is known for deep color, low tannins, and high levels of acid. Century-old vines still exist in many regional vineyards and allow for the production of long-aging, robust red wines with intense fruit and enhanced tannic content. The best-known appellation is the DOCG Barbara d'Osti in the Piedmont region, the highest quality Nizza DOCG wines are produced within a subzone of the Barbara d'Osti production area. When young, the wines offer a very intense aroma of fresh red cherries and blackberries. In the lightest versions notes of cherries, raspberries, and blueberries and with notes of blackberry and black cherries in wines made of more ripe grapes. Many producers employ the use of toasted oak barrels, which provides for increased complexity, aging potential, and hints of vanilla notes. The lightest versions are generally known for flavors and aromas of fresh fruit and dried fruits, and are not recommended for cellaring. Wines with better balance between acid and fruit, often with the addition of oak and having a high alcohol content are more capable of cellaring, these wines often result from reduced yield viticultural methods. History Viticulture Barbara is believed to have originated in the hills of Monferrato in central Piemont, Italy where it has been known from the 13th century. Documents from the Cathedral of Casale Monferrato between 1246 to 1277 detail leasing agreements of vineyard lands planted with De Bonus Vitibus Barbaxinis or Barbara, as it was known then. However, one ampelographer, Pierre Viola, speculates that Barbara originated in the Lombardy region of Old Trepo Pavese. In the 19th and 20th century, waves of Italian immigrants brought Barbara to the Americas where the vine took root in California and Argentina among other places. Recent DNA evidence suggests that Barbara may be related to the French, Spanish vine Morvedra. In 1985, the Piedmont region was rocked by a scandal involving Barbara producers illegally adding methanol to their wines, killing over 30 people and causing many more to lose their sight. The bad press and publicity saw a steady decline in Barbara sales and plantings, allowing the grape to be eclipsed by the Monte Polciano grape as Italy's second most widely planted red grape variety in the late 1990s. The Barbara vine is very vigorous and capable of producing high yields if not kept in check by pruning and other methods. Excessive yields can diminish the fruit quality in the grape and accentuate Barbara's natural acidity and sharpness. In Piedmont, the vine was prized for its yields and ability to ripen two weeks earlier than Nebbiolo even on vineyard sites with less than ideal exposure. This allowed the Piedmontese winemakers in regions like Alba to give their best sites over to the more difficult to cultivate Nebbiolo and still produce quality wine with Barbara that could be consumed earlier while the Nebbiolo ages. Harvest for Barbara usually takes place in late September early October, usually two weeks after Dolcetto has been picked. In recent times, Winemakers have been experimenting with harvesting Barbara later at higher sugar levels to produce heavier, more fruit-forward wines. In some vintages, these producers may even harvest their Barbara after Nebbiolo. Barbara can adapt to a wide range of vineyard soils but tends to thrive most in less fertile calcareous soils and clay loam. Sandy soils can help limit the vigor and yields. The grape rarely thrives in very alkaline or saline soils. Like many grape varieties with a long history, 
the Barbara vine has seen mutation and clonal variation arise with different clones of the variety found in Piedmont, Lombardy, Emilia-Romagna, and the Mezzogiorno. The different clones can be identified by the size and shape of their grape clusters with the smaller cluster clones producing the highest quality wine. In recent years, viticulturalists have been working with clonal selection to increase Barbara's resistance to the leaf roll virus. Winemakers working with Barbara have a variety of ways to deal with the grape's high acidity and moderate astringency. The most common has been through blending with varieties lacking those components and creating a softer and potentially more balanced wine as a result. In the 1970s, the French enologist Émile Pinot recommended that Barbara producers use small oak barrels for fermentation and maturation in order to add subtle oak spice flavors and limited levels of oxygenation to soften the wine. The added oxygen would also limit the reductive quality of Barbara and the occurrence of off odors of hydrogen sulfide that would occur in some examples. The polysaccharides picked up from the oak, was found to increase the richness of Barbara. At the time, his recommendation met some resistance from the tradition-minded Barbara producers, but the success of the Super Tuscans which introduced new oak barrel treatment to Sangiovese caused many producers to reconsider. In addition to the subtle oxygenation and spice notes, oak imparts to the wine ligneous wood tannins which give structure to the wine without adding as much astringent bite as the tannins derived from the phenolic compounds of the grape. This, coupled with reduced maceration time, contributed to the production of softer wines. Lower yields and harvesting riper grapes with more fruit and sugar has been found to be a better balance for Barbara's high acidity. Winemaking Northwest Italy is the viticultural home for Barbara, but Italian immigrants spread it through much of the New World, where its acidity is valued in blended wines for the freshness it imparts. Barbara is found in the northwestern part of Italy, particularly in Monferrato, and to a lesser extent further south. Nearly half of all grape vine plantings in Piedmont are Barbara. It likes the same conditions as Nebbiolo, but the latter is more profitable, fetching nearly twice, so is grown on the best sites. The earlier ripening Barbara is grown on the cooler lower slopes below the Nebbiolo, and other secondary locations. This explains why relatively little Barbara is grown around Alba, where the wines are entitled to the appellation Barbara di Alba. Thus the best known Barbara is the DOCG of Barbara di Osti. The Barbara del Monferrato dock, which tends to be somewhat sparkling, is seldom exported. As of 2010 there were 20,524 hectares of Barbara planted, making it the sixth most widely planted red grape variety in Italy. At its high point in the late 20th century, there were over 50,000 hectares planted but fallout from the methanol scandal of the 1980s and the lack of a driving worldwide market caused those numbers to decline. In the Piedmont region Barbara is widely grown in Osti and Monferrato regions. While there is no officially defined Classico region, like Chianta Classico, the region of the Osti province between the towns of Nizza Monferrato, Vincio, Castel Nuovo Calza, Agliano, Belvalio, and Rochetta is considered among locals to be the heart of Barbara in Piedmont. In 2001, the town of Nizza was officially recognized as a sub region within the Greater Barbara di Osti Dock. Being one of the warmest areas in Osti, Nizza has the potential to produce the ripest Barbara with sugar levels to match some of the grape's high acidity. The wines of Barbara di Osti tend to be bright in color and elegant while Barbara di Alba tend to have a deep color with more intense, powerful fruit. 
In the Alba region many of the best vineyard sites are dedicated to Nebbiolo with Barbara relegated to secondary location, which limits the quality and quantities of the wines labelled with the Barbara di Alba dock. In the Monferrato dock, Barbara is blended with up to 15% Frizza, Grignolino and Dolcetto and can be slightly sparkling. Wine Regions Outside Piedmont, Barbara is found throughout Italy, often as a component in Mass Vino da Tavola blends. In the Lombardy region, it is seen as a varietal in Old Trapo Pavese with wines that range from slightly spritzy to semi-sparkling frizzanti. Elsewhere in Lombardy it is blended with Croatina and as part of a larger blend component in the red wines of Franciacorta. Southeast of Piedmont, Barbara is found in Emilia-Romagna in the hills between Piacenza, Bologna, and Parma. As in Lombardy, Barbara is often softened by blending with the lighter Croatina as it is in the Val Tidun region for the dock wine of Guternio. In Sardinia, the grape is used to round colliery in the wine known as Barbara Sarda and in Sicily, the grape is used in various blends under the names Per Riconi or Pignatello made near Agrigento. Barbara was an important grape in re-establishing the wine industry of the Apulia and Campania regions following World War II due to its high yields and easy adaption to mechanical harvesting. Today it is a permitted variety to be blended with Aglianico in the Denominazione di Origine Control Lotta e Garantita wine of Torossi though it is rarely used. Although Barbara plantings of over 12,500 hectares existed as of 2010 outside Italy, it is rarely found in Europe except for small plantings in Greece, Romania, and the coastal region of Primorska in Slovenia. The influence of Italian immigrants has led to a scattering of Barbara plantings in South America, notably in Argentina, Brazil, and Uruguay. In Argentina, it is widely grown with 1,061 hectares planted as of 2010, mostly in the Mendoza and San Juan provinces, and used mostly for blending. Italy There are some small plantings in Israel. Outside Italy Barbara came to Australia with cuttings imported from the University of California. Davis in the 1960s, and as of 2010 accounted for 103 hectares of planting land. It has been grown for about 25 years in the Mudgee region of New South Wales, with later plantings in a number of wine regions, including the King Valley in Victoria as well as the McLaren Vale and the Adelaide Hills regions in South Australia. John Gladstone's in his book Viticulture and Environment, includes Barbara in Maturity Group 5, which means that it will ripen at about the same time as Shiraz and Merlot, and that it should theoretically find a successful home in many Australian wine regions. Australian wine producers have found some success with Barbara in Victoria. Mount Broke Wines of Broke NSW Australia have perfected the Barbara in their area and are one of the country's only vineyards currently with a Barbara in their range. Wines South African producers have begun widespread plantings of the grape in the warm climate regions of Malmesbury, Wellington, and Parle. In the United States there are 4,693 hectares of plantings mostly in California, where Barbara is one of the most successful of the Piemontese grapes to be adopted in the state. It is widely planted in the Central Valley, where it is a blend component in mass-produced jug wines. In recent years, the fashion of Italian grapes has caused more California winemakers to look into producing high-quality varietal Barbara. Plantings in the cooler regions of Napa and Sonoma have produced some successful examples. In Washington State, 
producers have been experimenting with plantings of Barbara in the Red Mountain, Walla Walla, and Columbia Valley Avas. So far these very young vines have produced fruity wines with strawberry notes and limited complexity and aging potential. In addition to Washington, in the Umpqua Ava of Oregon plantings of Barbara are proving successful, as well as plantings in central and southern Arizona. Relationship to other grapes As with many grapes that are widely planted, there is a wide range of quality and variety of Barbara wines from medium-bodied, fruity wines to more powerful, intense examples that need cellaring. Some characteristics of the variety are more consistent namely its deep ruby color, pink rim, pronounced acidity, and normally rather modest levels of tannins. The acidity of Barbarum make it a valued plantings in warm climate regions where acidification is usually needed. The color of Barbarum makes it a value blending grape and it was historically used in the Barolo and Barbresco region to add color to the naturally light Nebbiolo grape. The use of oak for fermentation or maturation can have a pronounced influence of the flavor and profile of Barbara. Barrel-influenced Barbaras tend to be rounder and richer, with more plum and spice notes. Wines made with older or more neutral oak tend to retain more vibrant aromas and cherry notes. While some producers delay harvest in order to increase sugar levels as a balance to Barbara's acidity, overripeness can lead to raisiny flavors. Grape breeder Giovanni Dalmasso at the Istituto Sperimental per la Viticultura in Conigliano in the Veneto wine region used Barbara as one of the parent vines for many of his crosses. Along with Nebbiolo di Dronero, Dalmasso crossed Barbara to produce Alborosa, Cornaria, Nebbiera, San Michel, and Soperga. Barbara is also a parent variety behind Irvi increased Oco Terrazii, Nigra and Protest. Despite similarities in names Barbara has no close genetic relationship with the Campanian wine grape Barbara del Sunio or the Sardinian wine grape Barbara Sarda. Also, DNA analysis has shown that the white Piedmont variety Barbara Bianca is a not a color mutation of Barbara but rather its own distinct variety. Synonyms Barbara is known under a variety of local synonyms through Italy and worldwide. These include Barbara Raspo, Barbara Apiduncolo, Barbara Amaro, Barbara Crenae, Barbara Forte, Barbara Mercantile, Barbara Nera, Barbara Nostrana, Barbara Riccia, Barbara Rissa, Barbara Rosa, Barbara Vera, Barbrone, Barbaxinis, Bisgano, Casas Barbusan, Gaetto, Lombardesca, Periconi, Pignatello and Ugetta.